Hello, my name's Jenny, and I'm here to show you an exciting new technique. It was new to me, I'd never done it before, and therefore I was very excited. I thought that if I can do it, anybody can do it. And it's called confetti applique. So confetti applique looks like this. That's a Christmas design, and that's another Christmas design and you can use them for all sorts of things bags, cards, pictures, anything at all. So the first step that I'd like to show you is that we're going to use something called Bonderweb which we iron onto a piece of fabric like that and Bonderweb has a sticky side so we cut out the piece that we want. We don't need to cut out any extra. And then we iron it onto the background fabric and then we take it off. Now, when we take it off, it leaves a surface which is sticky, but which you can't tell is sticky. And then we start to cover it with little pieces of fabric. This is where you can all do something different and we use pieces of fabric, any old offcuts, about an inch square. So we arrange these onto the bonder web. I'll just do a few pieces to show you. You can cut them straight or alternatively, you may see that the ones I'm demonstrating, I've used pinking shears with a serrated edge. That's completely optional. When you've arranged them all, and that's the fun bit, you put greaseproof paper on top. And after that, the greaseproof paper, by the way, is to, just to protect your iron in case there are any tiny stray bits. Iron it on as firm as you like. Take that off. And you have your little shapes already done. Here's a couple of examples that I've done. They look very complicated. They aren't because I'd never ever done them before. Here's another one that I've done. And some people afterwards do like to machine stitch a little bit of glitter fabric through, a little bit of glitter thread through, sorry, um, which sort of highlights them, totally optional. So now we have our finished product, I'll very quickly tell you the equipment that you need. You do need bonder web for sticking. You need some scissors, but they can be ordinary ones. Um, you need your little squares of fabric. I wouldn't recommend doing them too large, which I did on one of my projects, and I don't show it to anybody, because they look a bit clumsy. But an inch square is fine. So why don't you have a go? It's so easy to do. I do mine for greetings cards. You've got pictures. You've got bags you can use them for. And all sorts of different things. So why not have a go? It's good fun.